This is kind of bleak. It's usually more crowded, but the other officers punch out at six o'clock sharp. <laughs> There's no crime after six? In the mean streets of Delos Crossing? Just bears and drunken disorderlies. And Uncle Eddie can usually handle them on his own. But what about drunk bears? <laughs> anyway, he's probably in his office. Upstairs. Still got this creepy mascot, huh? Yeah, I keep telling Eddie to get rid of it. He terrifies all the kids that come through here. <laughs> it's kind of creepy. I am the law. I mean, yeah. Hold on. I want to catch up on all the Delos Crossing gossip. Oh, that's all just public safety stuff. Nothing that interesting. Well, should I decide the wild world of accounting isn't for me? Uh, can't really picture you in the uniform. Really? 100% college tuition paid? Damn. Maybe I should have joined the National Guard. Beats having your credit card stolen by an online college. Too soon, Tyler. Too soon. Too little, too late. Oh, that's still not cleaned up? Assholes. I wonder if the black oyster catchers were still nesting during this spill. God, I hope not. Home sweet home. Hmm. You spent a lot of time here growing up? Yeah, whenever Eddie was working. The whole precinct's basically family. <laughs> what? Claire Brown went missing on a snowmobile trip? Yeah. I thought you were still here when it happened. I don't remember it. Oh, Greg's. Just leaving this out on display again. Like Officer Greggs? The one who was with us that night? Yeah, he's still here. He became a bit of a local celebrity after nabbing a murderer from Juno. The guy was hiding out on a fishing boat and got really, really sick after eating out of the... Remember Mr. Haynes? Vaguely. He had that workshop in his garage, right? Made those huge glass sculptures? Yeah. He's been missing for a couple months. Damn. Always liked his art. They never did find him. This happened when we were kids, right? Yeah. Marianne freaked out and wouldn't drive after dark for a few weeks. He was supposed to host an art show just a few days after he went missing. What happened to him? I really hope he's okay. I really hope he's okay. You remember Dan and Shelby? I think so. The high schoolers who were always pissing Tessa off because they would blast fish and make out in the Vecchi's parking lot. Yep. Dan's a cop now. They're married and have a kid, a dog, the whole shebang. Damn. When did everybody decide to become an adult? Oh my god, that's the cutest. It's cute, but don't tell me you've got baby fever. Ew, no! 
Why do men always jump to that? Looks like she forgot her locker key here. Huh. Looks like she forgot her locker key here. That's Denise Wilson's desk. Remember her? Uh, Crazy D? The woman who set fire to her ex's trailer? Allegedly set fire. She was acquitted. And that's Officer Wilson to you. Oh no, it was her birthday. I completely forgot. You're a terrible person. It's your fault. I was so excited to see you that it completely slipped my mind. Oof, I should have gotten her something. Remember this fella? No way. Is that Jet? Yep. He, uh, he died last year putting himself between D and a bear. Oh, damn. Poor D. She's obsessed with sled dog races now. Is that even a thing? Yeah, I always thought she was a bit of an oddball, but in a good way. She's passionate. Passionate? Yeah. Remember this fella? No way. Is that Jet? Yep. He, uh, he died last year putting himself between D and a bear. Oh. I think D was a dog in a past life. We can't make these poor kids sleep here. Well, where do you suggest they go? Social services will be here in a few hours, and this is the only room with a bed. Anywhere but a cell. We'll find some other place. Here we go again. God, not here too. I'm not ready. Me neither. Something's in the way. Hmm. Eddie must have locked it already. What do you know? Still locked. <laughs> what do you know? Still locked. <laughs> Man, they are never gonna catch this guy. What exactly did he do? This guy keeps stealing out of people's mailboxes. Asshole snagged a box of fancy washi tape I ordered online. <laughs> uh, see, I was picturing an actual mailbox bandit. You know, like hopping around on a post with a little mask on the door. Huh? You know, the mailbox is the bandit. Sorry, it was a bad joke.
2015 at approximately 1,003 uh, hours, Officer Craig and myself were dispatched to 239 Woodland Road to respond to report of a theft. We arrived at approximately 1022 hours and spoke with owner Lawrence Cooper, DOB 715 1967. Cooper reported that his mailbox had been broken into. Cooper stated, I checked if two days ago because I'm waiting at on my new phone. Oh, they made me pay extra for shipping to get it here on time but I sl but I said I ain't having that shit I'm not gonna pay what I owe and not a dime I'm gonna I'm gonna pay what I owe not a dime more um so I I have that out of a lot they block they so back down you and really said, hung out here a lot huh I mean it's where Eddie works so yeah is that so weird it's just hard to picture a kid spending her weekends here. And where do you think kids spend their weekends around here? I don't know. Hanging out at a mall? The nearest mall is all the way back in Juneau. I went once a year to buy clothes with Eddie and did not hang. They backed down and said it would be here Tuesday. But this morning the lock was smashed to shit and there wasn't nothing in there. Probably that punk ass tay down. No, Taydown is a street alias for Jarvis, a shallow known to myself and Officer Griggs, and formerly 1288 to lost known address Amelia Plaza Apartments. Cooper also stated he had been home all night prior to the incident and heard nothing unusual. Cooper went to a two seat. Oh, excuse me. When I find Tay down, I'm gonna f stuff his ass up his own, or stuff his ass up his own ass. Cooper was cautioned against making criminal threats. Cooper then stated his willingness to prosecute sh Swallow, Swallow and was directed to seek charges with the prosecutor's office. Excuse me. Still locked. Tyler, you coming? Um. Allison, hey. Just finishing up a call. Trying to convince Melinda the Ravens and her garbage aren't police business. Give me a few minutes. <laughs> sure. Make yourselves a cup of coffee. Here's the key to the break room. Thanks. Come back upstairs when you're done, okay? Coffee sound good? Machine is in the break room downstairs. Uh-huh. You think we could find some files about Marianne in the archives?
don't know, but it's off limits anyway. Maybe Eddie would show us her file? Okay, I'm gonna stop here, you guys. Have a great night, and until next time. Bye.